you know, it's not happened a ton of times, but eh, it is a little inconvenient. It is a little frustrating. So for what that's worth, I just figured I'd share that. You know, and I'm interested to know for those of you who do have the EVIC, um, let me know in the comment section if you're experiencing this same inconvenience because it is definitely uh, that. It's an inconvenience. Um, <clears throat> Um, good things, more good things with the EVIC. Um, you know, I I uh, I keep my you know my phone is is constantly um, on on my holster um, on my belt. So I just kind of show that to you. It usually sits right there. Um, it, it it is. I've got to lift my shirt up and kind of pop it out of the pop it out of the holster. So it's not really super easy to get to. Um, I do have my EVIC out of my pocket and in my hand more often than I have my cell phone off the holster in my hand. I do really like that the time and date are displayed um, on, on the EVIC, or you can have it set up to be that way. You can have it set up to be that way. You can have it set up to show the puff count, or you can have it set up to show um, uh, the wattage and, 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 and the voltage. Hold on, maybe I'm wrong about that. Okay, the wattage and the ohms. You can have it set up to show the wattage and the ohms. So I've got mine set for um, time and date because that's what I happen to like. Oh, well, I've changed it because I'm an idiot. Um, anyways, I do really like that. Um, that does make it really convenient because, like I said, I have this in my hand more often than I have uh, my phone in my hand. So if I need to know what time it is, I just, that's what time it is. So it makes it nice. It makes it really nice. Um, now I'm going to hit on my my third and final dislike about um, the EVIC. And I've, you know, it, this is not really directly related to the product itself. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, I'm of the mind that customer service goes a really, really long way with a product. I personally think that you can have a subpar product with phenomenal customer service and what that does in my mind is it brings the quality, overall quality of the product up. Now you can have a you know a great product which I consider the EVIC to be a great product with a subpar customer service or no customer service and it does, in my opinion, affect um, you know that product as a whole. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate on that. So when you very first get the Evic, um, it comes in this great little box. Kind of, you know, it's it's it just feels really, um, it feels really good quality. Um, when you very first get this, you'll want to uh, um, just go on and verify that that your product is. Um, uh, you know, an authentic Joy e Tech EVIC. You also want to register to make sure that, uh, uh, you know, if there are any problems, Joy e Tech is aware that you do have an authentic product. If there's any recalls, because there have been recalls on the head unit itself in the past, and I think they got that pretty much taken care of. But uh, so when you go on Joy e Tech's site, you scroll Joy J O Y E T E C H dot com. You scroll down the bottom, the middle of the page you will see a security code check and what that does you put that security code in um, and then it you know it cross references it tells you what your um, serial number for that particular device should be if in fact um, you got an authentic joy tech because there are some fakes out there believe it or not um, so what you have to do is it kind of shows you step by step what it is that they they need from you uh, which is the security code so on the back of the box you'll see this little sticker right here and what it is is it's just like a um, it's like a lottery ticket scratch off it is, is pretty much all it is um, that that allows you to um, put that security code you scratch that off you put that security code in and then it tells you um, you know if if in fact uh, you've got a an authentic joy tech product so as you can see when I went to scratch this thing off I pretty much fucking destroyed it because um, I couldn't get it to scratch off. So I thought maybe I was just fucking something up. I was doing it wrong or whatever the case may be. So I had my wife was like, here, try to see if I'm just stupid. And, you know, try to scratch that off and see if you can get it off there. She tried. 
She couldn't get it off there either. It ended up destroying, you know, essentially destroying the damn thing. So what I did was I went on um, their contact us section and I kind of explained this to them and I gave them all the details and told them exactly what it is that happened um, and told them that I needed to, uh, you know, make sure I had my product registered to make sure that, uh, um, you know, one, it was authentic and also to make sure... Um, if there were any recalls in the future or anything like that, I wasn't going to run into any, any, any hiccups at all. And um, here we are, you know, two, two, almost three weeks, just about three weeks. I did this a couple days after I got it, so almost three weeks later. And, um, you know, I'm just searching my mail as, we, as, as, I, as I do this video and nothing. I did not, I never received a response from Julie Tech. So, you know, it, it, it's just, that's, you know, that's more of anything that, again, is a frustration um, that I have uh, because for me, customer service is really important. And when customer service is non existent, you know, I, I have to ask myself the question am I ever going to buy a Joy Tech product again simply because now I know that customer service is non existent? So, just something to keep in mind when you go to buy the product. Um, and maybe I just, they didn't like me or something. Fuck, I don't know. Um, so, one more thing I want to hit on that I really like. This video has already gone way too long. Um, but one more thing that I want to hit on that I really, really like about the Joy Tech Evic. And why I keep saying the whole fucking name. That's annoying. Um, the finish. I have this thing in and out of my pocket multiple times every day. That's where I keep it. I keep it in my front left pocket multiple times a day. Um, in and out, in and out, in and out. It's in there with change or keys or whatever it happens to be. And and I and I bullshit you not. The finish on this thing is absolutely flawless. There's not a scratch, not a ding, not a dent, not a not, nothing. I, I mean nothing. It, I mean honestly, it's damn near difficult to get the thing dirty. You might get a few fingerprints, um, you know, on this black, uh, you know, this black plastic here, uh, or poly, whatever the hell it is. Uh, but aside from that, I, gosh, you know, I really, I was really surprised because that was kind of an initial concern for me was, oh, wow, you know, you know I'm afraid that's going to scratch really easy. You know, I almost maybe need to get a holster or something of the sort for it so I don't have to worry about beating it all to hell. Um, well, I just kind of put that thought by the wayside and completely forgot about that. Um, it turns out I didn't have to worry about it in the first place because whatever they did on this finish, they did a fabulous job because, man, I tell you what, like I said, it doesn't have a scratch on it. I mean, the thing is is just, it looks literally like the day I bought it. So that is good. Very, very good. Guys, for me, overall, out of five stars, I personally would give this four and a half stars. Um, losing half a star for the few little irritations and, and, and small things um, that, that I don't really care for about it. Um, the, the battery door being, being for me, probably the biggest, uh, biggest frustration. But aside from that, great, great product. Keep in mind, guys, that if you're not technologically savvy, at least a, you need to at least be a little bit savvy with, with gadgets and shit. Um, otherwise, it's probably going to be frustrating to you. Um, but if you've got a little bit going for you in the, in the tech technology uh, wing of your brain, then you should be okay. Um, it's not super difficult to use. It's not super difficult to, uh, to, to, to hook up to your computer and to, to do the firmware updates and stuff. Um, pretty simple stuff, step-by-step -step shit. So, you know, um, I hope this video was informative. I hope it was helpful. Uh, I hope maybe I answered some questions or helped guide you in the direction of, am I going to get the EVIC or am I not going to get the EVIC? My personal opinion, love it. Um, again, just a personal opinion. If uh, you guys got any questions, uh, anything I can help you with, just let me know. I will do my absolute best to help. Again, keep in mind, I'm not a pro. I'm not a, 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 a vape aficionado. I don't, you know, don't consider myself as such. Um, I'm trying to give you guys a review from a just a normal guy's perspective, uh, and I hope that's what I've done. Um, if there's anything I can do differently, any recommendations, guys, don't hesitate. Um, you know, be fucking nice about it. Don't be a prick. You don't have to be a prick about it. Um, <laughs> uh, but seriously, you know, 
got any questions or anything, send me a message. Leave it down in the comments. I do my absolute best to read each and every one and respond accordingly. Um, but, guys, until next time, take care, be good, and God bless.